Hey guys, Gas TV here with another Path of Excel video. In this one, we're going to talk about the recent forum post, what happened with items. Basically, I'm not going to read through it. I'm going to keep this video as short as I can. There's a lot of negativity going on uh, with all the posts being made and all the takes. And I'm going to give you my two cents on it. Uh, if you haven't checked it out, this is the uh, forum post they made talking about what happened to items, where they basically explain the philosophies that they have around this and then try to explain the changes and uh, what happened and the problematic approach to it uh, that occurred. The biggest problem I have with this is um, something I'll tackle in a bit. I first I want to say, though, that I really appreciate these kind of posts where Chris Wilson steps up and takes accountability and owns up to the problems that occurred and then look into as to why they occurred and then we'll do their best to make sure that we don't get this happening again. However, that's just half the deal. Action speaks louder than words, obviously. Now, there's obviously a few things that I'll be pointing out in this uh, in this post that I really want them to take care of. Uh, but again, it's just things that stood out the most for me, and I'll tackle those in this video. And even if I do appreciate posts like this a lot, I still want them to do. You know, action speaks louder than words. So I want them to actually do something, not just not just apologize and move on and then do it again. Right. However, that's, um, you know, for future posts and changes to be determined either way. Um, so first off, the the first problem with this that I want to tackle is this section right here where they are saying that uh, other play every other player is unaffected by average uh, compared to the peak juicers. And then they're also saying that this is a result of um, previous leagues generating a ton more loot for us but in the current league we're getting tons less uh, and this exacerbates the entire approach of our experiences and how we perceive what is happening and i know that we poe players and content creators we are numbers people for the most part a lot of us loves the idea i know aspen gold made a really cool uh, funny uh, uh quote about it where he's saying that POE players, we can look at a POV and just look at a spreadsheet and go through the numbers and be like, yo, this is fucking amazing, dude. Holy shit, I can't wait to play this. This is so good, right? And that's the thing, right? That's literally the thing. It, it's all about perception. This is a game that we're supposed to play for fun. And I'll be honest, I really don't care if we are on paper being told that, well, we are unaffected on average. Because the way I perceive it dictates my enjoy enjoyment of playing. So even if that's the case, even if this is 100% accurate that on average I'm unaffected, my perception is that I'm feeling fucked over. And that's not a good feeling. So sure, maybe we had too much before and now we got less than, less than, than what I'd expect from a nerf to it then we'd still be in a position where my perception is not very very enjoyed, enjoyed uh, of the league, right? I'm not enjoying that aspect of it. So no, I, I don't agree that that uh, every other player is unaffected and that's supposed to be an argument that, uh, you know, warrants these changes. I think that they need, that GGG needs to consider the fact that the way people perceive the game matters more than the actual numbers behind it. Because in the end, this is a game we're supposed to have fun with. So that's just, I just want to point that out because I think perception matters more than what they give it credit for. The other uh, part I wanted to tackle with this is uh, obviously he's saying that he's the game director of Path of Exile 1, which sparks up the question who's going to be the game director for PoE 2. Uh, so that's kind of funny, I guess. Uh, but I did want to tackle this part here. I don't want to go into the details of it. He's saying that I've seen parties in this league get multiple mirrors per day and a lot of people are saying that he's lying. And I've, I've talked about it briefly. I will just mention this uh, really quick in this video as well. I don't want to dive into a discussion about it. And I will say this. This part here has to be true. And I don't see why he would lie. And the reason for this is something that most of the 1% players will notice very, very well is the trend of mirrors in general of how it's going. They always go up. You never see mirrors take a dump unless you have someone dumping out mirrors for a lower price, like when Imperium's group is doing some shenanigans, which are not, not in the game in this league. And we don't have those big parties. 
So the only way the mirror market uh, is behaving the way it does is if people are dropping an excessive amount of mirrors. But we also have a situation where there are fewer people playing. If that's the case, the mirrors should be even more expensive. But they're not. They're going down, which is crazy. The reason I know this is because I bought a mirror yesterday. And today they're down, which fucking sucks. But you know, it is what it is. I'm just saying that this is not a lie. Why would he lie about it? However... What I do want to say is when he's saying that people are finding multiple mirrors a day or finding 50 divine orbs from a single monster, that makes me, again, my perception not feel good about it. I know that big parties are generating tons and tons and tons of currency. I'm well aware of this and I don't mind it. But when you play the game and uh, what level am I in the game? I'm level 93, almost 94, minus all the deaths, of course. Um... I have dropped one divine orb this league. I dropped one divine orb. I play a ton, but I don't make currency through divine orbs. I'm one of those people that make my currency through crafting and I invest my currency. That's where my money comes from. I don't make them from dropping them. But knowing that I've dropped one divine orb and other people are dropping 50 or more divine orbs from a single monster, my perception of the game is not fun because then I know that I will never drop 50 divine orbs from a single monster where the majority of our loot that we're getting is coming from individual monsters that we're killing, such as the Lunaris touched uh, Arch Nemesis modifier stacked properly and whatnot, and RNG your way through there to get those type of drops happening. I know that I will never drop that. That makes me running the maps less enjoyable. I don't mind people having a higher chance of dropping bigger loot or more exalted orbs or divine orbs in this case. Like when Magic Fine Group's dead before, they kill a, mo a bunch of monsters and they get re rewarded for killing those monsters and they're very hard. What I don't, don't enjoy with this perception of the changes is that, well, most of the loot comes from individual monsters. To me, that just feels like instead of killing a bunch of monsters to get a bunch of loot, you're essentially playing Diablo, running to find loot goblins. And then you kill the loot goblin for that big chunk of rewards, and then that's your reward. That's, that's where the money is at, right? The perception of this, in my opinion, is not something that I enjoy. I do not like where the game is heading with that specific modifier and that specific approach in mind. Now, I might be alone on this. If you agree with this, let me know in the comments below. If you disagree, let me know as well. I want to hear you guys talk about this as well. But that's my perception of it. Um, there are a bunch of other problems, obviously. I don't want to go through the minion stuff and whatnot. Um, too much actually i do want to mention one thing uh when it comes to minions but uh let's take uh, the thing is i i agree that loot drop is a bigger problem and i appreciate them taking the or chris wilson taking accountability and you know making a post like this i always appreciate it but i want to see action as well and i just want to put an emphasis on perception being more important than numbers because right now it feels like the people that are not running six man groups doing this the perception is not good and that hurts the enjoyment we're getting out of the, the game itself and the league. And that, in my opinion, is not a good thing. The, the thing I do want to mention about minions, I know that uh, RiceQT, for example, made a, a... There was a clip, it might have been out of context, I'm not sure. Basically, it was stated that minion players are complaining because, you know, they're getting shit on. Other people on Reddit, for example, are talking about the approach of saying that melee uh, has the same problems with minions why why are we gonna moan and bitch about minions so much well i'll tell you what when you're in a situation when you're playing a a, a, a genre defining ability in the game or a type of archetype of ability in this case minion builds in general there's a lot of different minion builds and you can do what some people are saying well just take take the the meta one that works well the meta one right now is anime guardian it's played by, according to the statistics and the numbers we have available through Peewee Ninja, by 0.5% of those players. SRS is actually higher, which is a result of content creators promoting it. Absolution is way better. It's the meta minion build in the league right now. And, and the simple reason for that is because of the tremendous amount of DPS output that they do can bypass a lot of the problems that minions have. It still doesn't solve the biggest problem that is with minions right now. And that is the minion survivability, which also goes hand in hand with Anime Guardian. When an enemy guardian dies, it's not like, hey, I'm going to go back to my hideout. I'm going to resummon it like you do with Spectres, which is annoying, but fine. The enemy guardian costs you currency. That is an investment that you're losing. And you have to trade and then resummon and put the currency into it and then summon it. And that's a problem. It's a huge problem. Now, with enough currency, you can make it almost survive. These builds, they're dealing and tanking uber, uber endgame bosses. That's not where they're dying. They're dying to 
difficulty 10 Laker Calandra encounters. They're dying to greater Harbingers. They're dying to tool uh, approaches or breach uh, lords. That's not okay. And compared to melee, who shouldn't be saying anything, because even, no matter what your argument is, if melee is a melee, uh, lightning strike is a melee ability or not, it is the most played ability in the entire league, according to the stats that we have available to from PW Ninja, which is not always 100% accurate, but this is the numbers we can go from. Melee is the most played ability in the game right now. They have an ability that works. Minions do not because of that problem. So sit down and let us complain so they can fix the survivability. I'm not asking them for us to get more damage. We have more than enough damage. There are other major problems with it. I'm just asking for the survivability so that our casual players and new and newer players don't get screwed over as soon as they reach the end game. You have to have context to your arguments. And this is what I'm bringing. There is a problem that is fundamental that needs to be tackled. But I do agree that drops is bigger. That is the only tangent I have when it comes to minions in this video. I wanted to focus on this part. I want to discuss this. If you guys have any comments about these changes, let me know in the comments below. Because I do want to discuss these changes a lot. I'm not happy with the perception that people are getting, even if the numbers are saying one thing. Because the perception is everything when it comes to enjoying an actual game. And we have to keep in mind that this is a game. And that also brings me to the last thing I want to mention before ending this video. And that is, it's a game. Take a fucking chill pill and be civil. I'm going to read through the comments as long as you guys are nice and respectful of the comments. I'm going to read through them all so I get your guys' perspective on this as well. Because I know that the way I play the game is very different compared to most players in the community. And therefore, it's very good and healthy for me to get your guys' perspective on these changes as well. Because I have my point of view and I'd like to see you guys as well. Anyways, hit the like button, subscribe for more content. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Till then, stay safe. Keep rocking.